Oh, uh, you got to go through all that shit just to have a fucking mixed ass baby, just to be outside your race, just to feel validation. Damn, you should have stuck to the bald head black hoe. God damn, alert, alert. You niggas is out here facing jail time. Your niggas is out here, god damn it, facing all type of bullshit. You ain't even in your creative path because we know that the other bitches that y'all niggas is running to, they don't have that creative spark like that black woman. So, I mean, you know, they can't talk to you on a deeper level, god damn it. Y'all be having that fake ass little hate bond relationship, god damn it, where these hoes could fuck your homies. They could do all type of dumb ass shit that the black girls can't do. And you mean to tell me y'all did all this toxic ass shit just for you to have a bitch that goddamn outside your damn race you should have stuck to the bald head black bitch damn child what's going on is goddamn it you will waste your time money and energy because you want to step outside yourself because it's just so hard to be fucking black to the point where goddamn these other bitches your niggas is losing your soul because these other bitches doing all type of sanctity of spells on your motherfucking ass and i wonder you either end up dead or in jail and goddamn it that mixed child can never fucking go to the black people house so we all all know what goddamn you have to destroy your own fucking gene in order to fit in with these fucking fools and they throw your they civilization they fucking culture in your face when they culture was created out of you you fucking idiot and that's the fucking tea so now your demons is out here fucking facing all this time wasting a lot of energy just to deal with a bitch that's outside your race you don't love yourself that much Child, watch out for these toxic ass motherfuckers, child, because these motherfuckers is getting exposed all across the goddamn Americas. Yes, child, because in Americas, they taught you that anything that's not motherfucking goddamn it, that black of the berries is sweet as the juice, child. That's what they said, the black of the berries is sweet as the juice. And what's going on is, child, alert, alert. I know goddamn well y'all did all. I know y'all ain't do all this toxic ass shit. I mean, dissing black bitches and all. They said everything about us. They said we was broke. We ain't got no bed frame. They said all type of toxic ass shit. Just for realize that goddamn, that same ass toxic ass bitch. Yeah, goddamn it. Yeah, the bitch that say they love black dick. Yeah, them the hoes that ain't going to help you get no job. No, they going to help destroy your life. So I've never seen no motherfucking bitch, goddamn it, that help they baby daddy, they black baby daddy get a fucking job or you know be successful and be creative use that creative spark that they get from the sun you know why they'll never say that because they these motherfuckers didn't come from the sun so why the fuck would they talk about shit that they didn't come from child see what happened when you step outside yourself you end up losing yourself like king solomon you lose yourself you lose your identity you lose a part of you and then you end up watering down your own goddamn fucking generation because every time goddamn if the black woman and the black man is the highest frequency Anything other than that, I mean, you can water down your own bloodline all you want to, but I'm letting you know that, goddamn it, that melon is the highest frequency. We can face a lot of shit on this damn planet. When them demons come our way, is that melon, the melon is protection. Why you fuck, why the fuck you think you niggas is out here protecting all these other bitches with all these other fucking kids? But it's a whole lot of black kids out here that needs protection and love. But you know what you niggas do? You talk, oh, she playing stepdaddy to black kids. See what happened when you play stepdaddy to black kids, we don't make you go to jail. See, when you play stepdaddy to outside your race, you'll end up fucking in jail for years because that bitch is doing fucking spells on your ass and you will be fucking confused thinking you're in love but god damn it a bitch that don't understand your fucking don't even have the same genetic same brain they will never understand you know how matter how much you fuck so the only thing these hoes will do is put a spell on your ass take you out the damn hood put you in a suburban area just to be broke because these hoes is broke they never fucking work for shit these bitches ain't got no generational wealth these bitches got they wealth off our fucking shit and god damn it they got in placed in jobs and shit so god damn it yeah they took our motherfucking labels off the hospitals and they brought they motherfucking ass so now now it's time for them to run the companies that they mothers had, but these bitches don't know how to run companies because they mother didn't get it righteously. See what happened when you end up part of a bloodline and you don't know the history of that bloodline. So what's going on is when you don't know the history of that bloodline, then they destroy your bloodline. You dumb motherfucking niggas. That's who the fuck you act like. A bunch of fucking retarded ass motherfuckers who thought that 
all black girls was just jealous when all we do is just goddamn it tell yes the goddamn truth and nothing but the truth because God will get us child yes child and when we speak the goddamn truth they say we hating we say they say we insecure they say we piss the fuck off why because we know who the fuck we are how come every time goddamn it these other motherfuckers from other nationalities when we speak the damn truth and we be real with who the fuck we are they say we racist they say we mean they say a lot of uh, motherfucking shit but intelligent now just call me intelligent call me a genius call me goddamn it a bitch with brain power goddamn it all you motherfuckers say that all negative shit because you don't understand you don't have the brain to understand you don't have the genetics the, the dna to understand what the fuck i'm talking about so don't fucking crucify me and label me as crazy don't label me as a goddamn it oh she's crazy oh she's a criminal that's the that's what you're not gonna do so yes chad the queen marie show queen marie entertainment guess what i ain't never been a motherfucking criminal but i speak the goddamn truth and the truth will set me free and everybody else who accept the goddamn truth and what's going on is we understand what the hell going on that these devils will manipulate you at your damn power but them niggas show said they thought the grass was green on the other side child when them niggas get your ass in the goddamn gym them bitches ain't gonna help you get out is these hoes gonna use that mexican power to get these niggas out of jail but no they're gonna use that mexican power to put them in there is these hoes gonna use that white girl power to get these men out of jail no, nah, they gonna use that white girl power to make sure these men never make it and they make sure they stay stuck and stagnant. So I never seen a successful black man coming from goddamn it that's connected to a white woman or a Mexican woman or any other nationality. Why? Because when you see two black motherfuckers, black is excellence. They work real hard to keep you motherfuckers separated. Why? So everybody else can fucking eat. I keep you motherfuckers separated too if I eat off your dumb ass. So that's the fucking tea. And the tea is goddamn it until you understand who you are. Your dumb ass will fall for the devil spills, the devil manipulation. When these devils come your damn way, these bitches, goddammit, come your damn way, and they try to energy harvest off you, you will understand who you are, goddammit, as a person. Yeah, goddammit, I love it, but at the end of the day, goddammit, I love myself more. I love myself. So when by me loving myself and loving who I am and even loving my bloodline, loving the race that I come from, I protect it all the way around. I'm very disciplined. So I don't have to goddamn it be mean and no goddamn body that's not who I am. But my thing is this. I protect my fucking ass. I protect my motherfucking pussy. I protect everything on me. Why? Because I understand who I am. I'm the mother of the goddamn planet, Chad. All the beauty come from me, Chad. Ah, uh, Chad. And by me understanding it and knowing what the fuck the tea is, what's going on is this. These men sat there. I'm talking about this day black woman like the black woman wasn't shit. They this day black woman like the black woman was ugly. And they made these other women feel like they was better than all dark skinned women. Child, what's going on is the sun is separating us and it's exposing these hoes to the goddamn truth. What's going on is these these white girls that really thought that they was better than you, they pissed the fuck off right now because in their mind, I know damn well your black ass it ain't the head bitch in charge and they lied to us for 500 years. Yes, child, they don't want to accept the shit. They don't want to accept the shit. So you know what God going to do? He's going to make them accept the shit by destroying the money system. Take the money away. God damn it. Which means you're going to be left with your creative gifts. You're going to have to learn how to be your own God. And that's something that these devils hid behind. They hid behind money. They come in our fucking hood, taking our mans, doing spells on our fucking man. And I know they doing it because they come, they our way. Because these, these could be white, fat ass, trailer truck ass, trailer truck trash ass bitches and they coming up with black niggas why because let me tell you how they compete with the black women they know the black women is struggling they know the black women has to go to work they know that the society built a white system to treat that the black woman ain't this ugly she ain't shit the beauty standards is the white bitch that's what they treat the black woman like right so let me tell you how they do it they send their daughters. So you ever you get them little bitches, they come to the hood. Yeah, get them little white girls come to the hood with their brand new car. How you get all that money, girl? They mama got them. They got mama got money. They mama got a business. They they in college. They come right to the damn hood. Where they kick it at? Right in our hood. Where they where they come destroying? And then they come coming in, right? Acting like they so submissive and so nice. And then they they get they they trying to come to next to that black man. Soon when they get them a little black man, they come slaying the shit, destroying the shit. They fuck him, his homies, goddamn it, cousins too. These bitches love black dick. 
So it's just business. They never been around all these black dicks a day in their life. And they understand they trying to fit in. So I'm trying to tell y'all how this shit go. They use money to fit in. Yes, Chad. They come to your hood because they know that you ain't got no money. So they come to your hood and they know as long as goddamn it, you connect, they connected to you, you connected to them. See, they get your energy. And then while they getting your energy, they'll get your ass five dollars and forty seven cents. Child, that motherfucker give your ass any fucking thing because your energy is more valuable than that dollar. That dollar is in your energy. Your energy is in that dollar. Dollar money is energy. So if these motherfuckers could put spells on your ass, all they gotta do is be connected to your ass. They could put spells on your ass all goddamn day. They goddamn it. But why you think that when you connected to these bitches, what happened? You don't grow no business with these hoes. Hell no, you can't be better than them. Hell fucking no. You know what happened? They get you in your lower nature. Yeah, let's drink. Yeah, they want your black ass to drink, don't they? They want your black ass on them Zans, don't they? They want your black ass off that Coke. How many young black men right now today is off Coke right now? Off Zans because they've been having a white girl or a Mexican bitch. Ciao. I'm trying to tell y'all what's going on. They come to our fucking community and they act better than the black hoes, but they can't tell the men that they trying to compete with the black hoes. So they do it in a way, God damn it. well, I got some money. I'm a white girl. So that's the only way these hoes use their white girl privilege. I never seen them use their white girl privilege to help a man out of jail. No, they ain't never go out there and be no lawyer and public defender and goddamn it, pull some strings and help that motherfucker get the fuck out of jail. No, these bitches will pull some strings or hire lawyers and some old shit, get OPs on a nigga, all type of shit. And goddamn it, act a motherfucker, have a daughter, goddamn it, say, I'm scared. Just just cause, goddamn it, they want that black nigga, goddamn it, and milk off his damn energy. Yeah, his name on that shit, they need his money, they need every fucking thing. And while you sitting stuck, these hoes is crazy creating off your fucking energy but see what happened if you never stuck with these hoes god been telling you to leave these hoes alone but you niggas be so geeked up to step outside your race you thought that that was the grand prize not understanding you just watered down your own fucking bloodline so you dumb motherfuckers is putting curses on your own damn body why because by you being stuck and stagnant how could you create for the next five years it takes years to grow a business i hope you idiots know we is in a time where we supposed to be creating, especially black people. We supposed to be creating because the times is fit to change. You're going to need your own energy when they come out with another motherfucking virus and they say you can't work at their jobs. You need to know how to build your own job, such as the Queen Marie show. I built my own job. So now, goddamn it, I could do movies. I could do all type of shit. I am an entity. I am a corporation now, bitch. So that's the fucking tea. These white girls ain't teach me that. These Mexican girls ain't teaching me that. I built my own business with my own fucking energy. And this is the reason why when them dumbass bitches came my way doing spell work, this is how I knew they was doing the fucking spell work because it didn't hit me. It must have hit they black baby daddy. So now they black baby daddy must suffer because they couldn't take the fact to see they black baby daddy with that black girl. He's been with that black girl. So every fucking day, these demonic ass fucking bitches was waking up trying to destroy that black girl. The man couldn't even create and live in his life purpose because he had a witch right there waiting to destroy him. And they use kids to destroy your motherfucker. That's what the fuck these idiots do. And guess what? You niggas be lost because y'all be so soft. Y'all be stuck in the past where y'all thought white girls was cute, better, and they was down for your nigga ass. Well, when times get hard, yeah, 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 yeah. They try to use your past and your and your your life against you. This is the reason why they come to the hood. Why? To get broken black men that goddamn we all got mama issues. We all got daddy issues motherfucker. See, I know what the hell these hoes doing. They praying on your childhood. See me, uh-uh, I don't pray on motherfuckers childhood, bitch. We gonna learn how to figure this shit out together because our mamas was under a curse. So both of our mamas went through a lot of shit and that's something that these black, these white hoes, they want you to hate your mama. I don't get no fuck. What the fuck going on with y'all OG at the end of the motherfucking day? God damn it. Just like my OG been through shit, y'all OG been through shit. But guess what? Our, both our mamas was under a spell. So it's up to us to save our fucking bloodline.
line. Say by fucking mama. Don't let these white stanky pussy ass bitches come in your fucking community and infiltrate your shit and get mad at you. Why? Because goddamn it, you ain't got them fucking childhood trauma. You ain't got no childhood trauma. So that's what these hoes do. They want you to goddamn it have childhood fucking trauma so that way they can come in, take your motherfucking power to get you to hate your own kind so you won't break curses off your own fucking bloodline. That's the real tea. That's the real tea. That's how deep it go. But what they doing now is they trick y'all black men with money. Come in y'all community, but you not understanding. You have energy, a gift that's inside of you that's worth more than money. Don't let these white hoes come in your community tricking you with this fucking money. Tell them, no, nah, do you love me, bitch, because of me? You're going to realize that hell fucking all. No. These bitches is in their nature to not like your ass. Ask them what dreams they be having about black people. Child, go ask a real white motherfucker. Because goddamn a real white motherfucker let your ass know and be honest with your ass. Yeah, we had dreams. Because just like God will tell you and give you dreams and answers. And yeah, they got to come to them too. The motherfucker that created them too. And have all black people in fucking chains. Go, yeah, go talk to these real white people that don't mind telling your motherfucking nigga ass. Yeah, we have dreams about niggas locking up niggas. Fuck is wrong with y'all retarded motherfuckers. So that, don't tell me nothing about a man where it's in their nature to hate you. You can't tell. So that means I, I know how to deal with you, right? That means I know how far to go with you, right? You dumb motherfuckers. So that's the fucking T. The T is I can't stand for a motherfucker to disown they own. Talk shit. Yeah, we all got fucking problems. We all got fucking issues. But what you're not going to do is try to use my problems against me to make me manipulate me out my fucking power. So I'm sorry, y'all. God damn it. Uh-huh. My job is to speak the goddamn truth and nothing but the goddamn truth. So help me God. And what's going on is, God damn it, excuse me, these bitches is upset at this time. Why? Because God damn it, they couldn't trick me out of my power. Ain't no tricking me out of my motherfucking power, bitch. I am the shit. I understand that every time I go live, every time I post, you bitches are upset at this time because you bitches just can't take me. That ain't my fucking fault. So yes, Chad, the fucking T is, goddammit, don't get caught up in the motherfucking sauce because, goddammit, you seeking validation outside yourself. Why? So, goddammit, if, let me tell you something, how God worked. If God really blessed you with these motherfuckers, you wouldn't be suffering the only reason why you suffering is because God is telling you he never wanted to mix with these bitches in the first place. These are evil, demonic hoes. I'm trying to tell y'all the tea. What God, God said it in the Bible. Get, be careful mixing with these bitches in these foreign islands, these foreign hoes. So, which means a bitch that ain't even got your same genetics. Be careful because they'll have other cultures. They practice other gods and you will be mixing your angel energy. With another motherfucker that's not your own. And now your kid's coming out, goddammit, all confused. And guess what? You're not understanding. The bitch used the kids to drain your energy. So what? So that way they can create out of your energy. It's just business, you dumb fuckers. So y'all could sit around on this planet and play stupid all you want to. Let your white life go away. That's what these hoes want. That's how you know these hoes is connected to the devil, which is they fucking daddy. You blue-eyed fucking devil. So yes, Chad, we know who the fuck you really are, bitch. We know that you are here to let us waste our time. So now you niggas is sitting up here paying a price, wasting your time for what? The bitch was calling you every day then. The bitch was calling every day, day. The bitch act like she wants to spend some time and all type of shit. Where the fuck these hoes be at? Just leave, just get out so you can live for your daughters. Just get out so you can live. Just go to jail so you can get out and live for your daughters. That's the best advice these hoes can give you when, God damn it, they telling you to go to jail. But hold on, wait. You would have never went to jail if you would never fuck with none of these bitches. Not just one. We're not going to blame one. Both of these hoes got you locked the fuck up. We're not going to blame one. Have you ever served time for any one of your baby mamas? Have you served time for the first baby mama? Have you ever did with the jail or, God damn it, got into fights or altercations with your first baby mama? What about the second one? Child! So how long you gonna keep wasting your damn life fucking around with these hoes? 
If these hoes is keep getting you locked up, keep getting you going to jail, it seems like a bitch doing spell work on your motherfucking ass to keep you stuck, stagnant, and goddamn it connected to these hoes. Because when you was out and you was doing your motherfucking thing and you was posting that black girl and these hoes couldn't take it, they was calling every goddamn day, pissed the fuck off at you because you was, you was, you was, you was, you was, you was posting that damn black girl. You know what happened? You was too happy. You was too happy. These bitches had to come. And tear that shit down. Why? Because blacks is black is excellence, Chad. And when you look at us together, you will see God. You will see the man and the woman. That masculine energy, that feminine energy. You will see God, Chad. But what be going on is, goddamn it, it will be balanced. It will be like a harmony, right? But what these bitches do. They created a lot of toxic shit and they wanted me to be toxic with them, but they thought I was a ghetto ass black girl, but I'm not one of them, bitch. They didn't know that I was an intelligent black girl with a business, got her own money. Yeah, bitch, you got to come. It's competition now. Yeah. So these bitches start forming competition. Hold on, bitch. I thought you was fucking on a homie. Child, I thought you was in a relationship, pregnant and some old shit, child. You should not be worrying about this other dick on the other side when you got other bitches, other fucking kids, goddamn it, other motherfucking homie kids and all type of shit. These bitches was calling every fucking day, especially the first baby mama. This bitch was calling every fucking day, y'all. I'm talking about calling every fucking day, goddamn it, because she want a family back or she want a nigga to talk, love her, goddamn it. Oh, we sick. We don't give a fuck. You see what I'm saying? Like, the bitch was calling every goddamn day. You got some new shoes? Yes, the motherfucker do. Like, I'm not understanding. Oh, you got your hair done? Yeah, bitch, I do hair. I do shop hair. I'm glad you noticed that it was done, which means you know that I got shop hair, bitch. I do that shop work. You see how night and neat it was, bitch? That's the fucking tea. And so the tea is, goddamn it, God will warn you about these hoes, though. Before you even had kids with these hoes, these hoes gave up the rights of their kids, goddamn it. They ain't even got custody over their motherfucking kids. God warned you about that bitch, though. See what I'm saying? See, that's what I'm saying. You should have been. You're not even should never nutted in a bitch. But back in the day, when we young, you know, they taught our black men that they was better than black hoes. So, you know, our men went through a fucking phase where they was fucking on these little white bitches and these Mexican bitches. But now they running back. You know what I'm saying? They running back because these hoes can't talk to our men on a soul level because these bitches ain't got no soul. They can only go so far. That's why these hoes can only talk about material money. Look at Cardi B. They can only talk about material money. But guess what? Our men is looking for something deeper than money. And that's somewhere you only the black woman could give them. So you bitches is looking fucking slow. I know you're trying to have the brain cells to understand deeper on a deeper level. But baby, it's only so far you can go. Let the black woman have something. They don't even want us to have our own energy, y'all. They don't want us to have our own money, our own energy, our own man. Nothing. Here they come. Here they come. We're not going to y'all community fucking y'all niggas. No, y'all bitches is coming over here to our shit and y'all fucking on our black dick. Why? Because in they mad, they living out the fantasy. You know what I'm saying? That's how you know these hoes are fantasy bitches. That's what the, they are. They off balance because at the end of the day, nobody understand that black one, man like that black woman. You see what I'm saying? They the only two motherfuckers on this planet. I know you bitches want to mix and mangle and goddamn it. We got a bond and we understand each other because we fuck the shit out of each other. Well, that's physical. Fucking is physical. Anybody can come fuck your baby daddy. That's why any bitch can come fuck your baby daddy. Your sister can come fuck your baby daddy and goddamn it, that nigga going to go over there. That's what I'm saying. You got to learn how to connect to a man deeper than sex. And that's something you bitches ain't going to be able to do because you bitches ain't even there for your damn kids. And you're trying to be part of a bloodline that God don't want you to be part of because every fucking time you try, goddamn it, God shut it down. So you bitches out there doing spells, you bitches out there goddamn it doing spells on niggas and you trying to control a nigga, guess what? He still ain't going to be part of your shit. You got to see what I'm saying? See, you not more powerful than God. Y'all hoes did so much goddamn spell work to the point trying to get me locked the fuck up to the point where it backfired on you fucking idiots. So now you wasted your time. You wasted all 2024 doing what? Spell work, bitch? Chasing a nigga? Bitch, you should have been gay that up when he put a, a couple kids in your sister, hoe. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's like these bitches do a lot of dumb ass, demonic ass shit that they don't even understand what they're doing. Bitch, he fucked your sister. Get over it. Both of you dumb ass bitches need to fucking get over it. That's why these hoes was, they wake up every fucking day, y'all, stalking me. Ain't you fucking a homie? Ain't you high off coke? Ain't y'all hoes got kids that y'all need to focus on instead of dick? And then when a the nigga out, here they come. Here they come. The nigga can't post me. Why? Because here come the first baby mama. I thought you got a man. 
I thought you don't want his ass no more. Don't you got some other black dick to go suck, bitch? No. She had come to find out she had her other baby daddy in jail, too. I wonder did she have something to do with that. This bitch a fucking old man, Chad. Give her motherfucking rights over because she's trying to tap into black community. She's trying to tap into their community and infiltrate their shit. But you a prostitute. So I just want motherfuckers to understand, don't you ever think in your motherfucking life you thought you was better than any fucking black bitch out here, bitch, and your ass out here sucking dick for fucking money. You out here a prostitute. That nigga will go to fuck to work and build, get, go to work and get your ass or have a nigga pull the fuck up and suck his dick in a car. I know you bitches ain't think that you was better than me. You are a prostitute. We ain't even get on the looks yet. I know we definitely didn't think you, you hoes looked it better than me. Oh, no, bitch. Take off the makeup. Let's see who you are. Because I could take off makeup. Bitch, I don't even wear makeup at all. I just wear my little eyelashes. But I take them bitches off. Bitch, you could see my asshole. Hazel eyes call us twin, bitch. We both was doing that shit. That's how you know we a twin. We both got the same fucking eyes, bitch. Another reason why these hoes was jealous too, by the way. It was a lot of shit that we had in common. And our bond is just, goddamn it, so strong. Because at the end of the day, everything that I said, I already predicted it before it happened. So it's not like a motherfucker thrown off guard. It's like God, it's like a motherfucker found God right before all this shit happened. So it's like kind of God saved his soul. You see what I'm saying? And then it happened. See, sometimes people learn the damn hard way because they fucking hard headed. You see what I'm saying? But it actually it showed the truth to who's lying and who's telling the truth. And these evil motherfuckers be out here fucking lying in order to create off your energy. So I'm letting y'all niggas know now, if you ever faced a jail time for your baby mama one time, leave these dumb assholes in the past. If you ever, if your baby mama ever fucked your homie, cousins, any nigga you know, leave that bitch in the past. Don't ever tell your, your baby mamas or your home, don't even, even niggas that's connected to this bitch because yes, if your baby mamas fucked your homie, guess what? They, she fucked all these other niggas too. She sucked their dick too because these are these mixed other bitches from other nationality that love anybody black dick because in their culture, they fuck and do, they fuck each other. So you have to understand people's culture too. God damn it. Just because you think it's nasty in their culture, they don't think that. Why? Because they fuck on dogs. They are mixed with animal DNA. Who has a lot of shit? So the morals and integrity is kind of look different and you will lose yourself because you guys are different genetics, DNA. It's a lot of shit going on. So God will tell you, you can mix all the fuck you want. You can try it out. It's a fantasy. It'll never fucking work because your child will have to pay the price. So now you bitches so goddamn toxic, your kids got to fucking pay the price. But you wanted that black dick so damn bad. But now I wonder your kids call you bitches. Now I wonder y'all kids be disrespecting the shit out y'all hoes. Why? Because you ain't doing shit. This bitch, these bitches don't do shit. What the fuck? They mamas take care of them. They ain't never went they ass to fuck the work. Then they, they make excuses about going to work. So... Y'all niggas did all that shit just to have a mixed baby? Child! Y'all should have stayed with the bald head black hoe. God damn it. God would have gave her a little bit more hell. God damn it, child. Because that was the only struggle. All this toxic shit, it seemed like outside other cultures, they don't even know who their baby daddy is, child. And God damn it, y'all should see. They better not say nothing else about the black community. Because these hoes, we know a black man right now. Facing fucking jail time because why? Trying to play stepdaddy with another fucking nationality. So these other bitches from other fucking cultures, yeah, they'll put your black baby daddy in jail. They fucking on them black niggas. Yeah, they fucking on them black niggas. But what racist shit do these black men go through on a daily basis? We want to ask the black man that these bitches is fucking on. That they controlling and got, them, got, the, got the black man staying at they big ass house. You see what I'm saying? That they never fucking earned. They only got that big ass house when they in tour with black people. So in order for them to have that big ass house, these are a bunch of immigrants that didn't even deserve no house or nothing. But the only reason why everybody got a house but you black people is because these people created a system. So now when they come to your community, they throw money in your face. When you black niggas need to say, I don't need your motherfucking money. I got my black queen at home. See what I'm saying? See, when you stop manipulating, you when you stop letting these motherfuckers manipulate you at your power and you build with your black woman, 
and your black woman started feeling safe, watch how powerful that black woman and she started creating. And next thing you know, she started building your motherfucking ass up. Next thing you know, the energy started balancing each other out. Y'all started creating business and empires and all type of shit. But you can never do that when y'all niggas is seeking validation outside your motherfucking self. And when you don't love yourself, it will really shows. And it shows to your goddamn kids. So what's going on is, goddamn it. When you love yourself, you are very careful about putting that shit on your fucking bloodline. Putting that shit on the next generation. You see what I'm saying? See me, I like to break curses. The shit that I go through, I don't want my kids to go through the same shit. So I break the curses. Just like, goddamn it, my son, my, like, say, for example, say if my baby daddy suffered from bipolar or mental health, right? It's my job to break that curse off my kids. You see what I'm saying? I don't know what the fuck he gonna do. He can do what the fuck he wanna do. Focus on material shit. Who gives a fuck? But my job is to break that fucking curse off my kids. Show my son some motherly love. Because I know back in the day, my baby daddy felt, he said he hated his mother. He hated his mother. This is what makes men go gay, and this is what makes men go outside their self. Why? And they will seek validation from other nationalities because they hate their mother. But y'all not understanding. Our mothers was under a spell, y'all. So our mothers did things to us and did a lot of shit, a lot of fucked up ass shit that we don't agree with. But this is the reason why we here, to break that curse off our bloodline. Not to hate our mama. Be proud that, okay, we came in this motherfucker, but understand that our mamas was under a curse. So ain't no saving. Ain't she? Some stuff she just couldn't save us from. We have to face a lot of different shit. You see what I'm saying? Especially as a melodated motherfucking being, and you know you are a leader on this world. You might have to face a lot of shit that these other motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying? Other motherfuckers ain't going to be able to face. So what I'm saying is this. It shouldn't take all this toxic shit just to motherfucking mix with a motherfucker. See what I'm saying? See, the thing is this. Ain't no man facing charges with that black girl. But this man, I know a black man right now in jail today have to face charges because he's stepping outside his damn fucking race trying to Make these hoes, goddamn it, feel validated. You see what I'm saying? But what'll happen is you will lose yourself. So now you will sit there days and days and days, years go by, whatever the fuck, and they doing, and you have to suffer that shit. You are taking a sacrifice just to be tied to a bitch because she a different race. That's is when you this is how you know when you niggas not loving yourself. Because you niggas is seeking outside yourself and these other bitches is going to take advantage of your dumb ass. So what I'm saying is these toxic ass bitches that work real hard to go against black women, they are opening up their eyes now and they see that they need to bring, um, they need to bring, uh, what you call it? More than their physical body to the motherfucking table. Because our black men is suffering bad. And they doing a lot of suffering that you bitches would never understand them on. So they need something more than material, bitch. That's something you hoes can't give them. Because you are the bitch that created this shit. So you bitches are toxic at this point. There's a lot of toxic shit going on. A lot of fantasy shit going on. But let's us all watch and see. All these motherfuckers self-destruct themselves. Why? Because I'm telling you now, when you don't love yourself, ain't nobody else going to love you. So you'll be seeking validation from other motherfuckers. They don't even love you because you don't love yourself. See what I'm saying? So that's the fucking T. The T is watch out for these toxic motherfuckers, y'all. They think somebody hating. Ain't nobody hating on you fools. Fucking idiot. What kills me is because people people will feel like they could come waste your life. You ain't waste a mass. What you did was basically I had to learn. So when you go through different situations, see me, I look at situations as learning situations. I know that I'm down here only temporary. It's you fools stay together, stuck and stagnant. And when we why we already down here for temporary and y'all stay stuck and stagnant for 80 damn years, knowing damn well we supposed to be on a mission. So, goddamn it, y'all niggas is getting caught and lost in the damn sauce over some damn kids God never told you to have. And the only way you're going to know that is because, goddamn it, when you try to build with a bitch, it's going to always fall. And you're going to always go back to square one because God going to keep on telling you, you're not supposed to build your house with this toxic bitch. 
I know y'all want to so bad, cause goddamn it, that bitch let you fuck niggas and hoes. Goddamn it, you bitches. Goddamn it, you fuck the homies. I know that y'all did a lot of fucking. Y'all did a lot of fucking together. You see what I'm saying? But what's going on is God is say he he's he's destroying that lower nature. So your niggas dick ain't even working no more. Your niggas want to fuck, but you ain't getting no more hoes. Don't know. You losing value in your energy, especially every time you fuck and you're releasing. You're not releasing. God damn it. Doing God's work. Nah, these devils is releasing. And when they release, they release their energy on a toxic motherfucker. And they wondering why they toxic. Well, I feel your energy. Your energy is around. You must be around toxic bitches. So that's the fucking tea, y'all. The tea is these motherfuckers did all this toxic shit. Just a step outside they race. Child. Mm -hmm. You got to go through all this bullshit. Do jail time. Motherfucking. God damn it. Your homies getting fucking your bitch. You got to go through all this toxic ass shit. Just to motherfucking fuck with a bitch outside your race. I told you motherfucking niggas. The grass was not greener on the other side. But your dumb ass then got fucking left behind. Trying to fuck with these low vibrational toxic ass bitches. You motherfuckers are fools. Subscribe to the Queen Marie Show y'all. Holla.